Shout out goes to the Jamaican American rapper Jay Z, who's doing his thing, who's become a billionaire this year. I'm definitely proud and I'm happy for the fact that he has been making big moves to become a billionaire and do making a difference. He's actually decided to help someone in the black community. Now, this story comes from Deborah Kellermans. Shout out to you, my Facebook friend. Jay Z's hired a lawyer for the family who were nearly killed by Phoenix police officers over a four dollar doll that their toddler took from a store, which is really petty to me. The family has filed a $10 million lawsuit against the city, and Jay-Z is doing his part to help dismantle the KKK culture within the department. According to AZ Central, the rapper's philanthropic organization within his entertainment company, Rock Nation, has secured high-profile attorney Alex Spiri, who is demanding the termination of the race soldiers who threatened to kill the family. Spiro has also announced, announced plans to file a lawsuit against one of the officers for child neglect. Viral video of the May 29th incident shows Phoenix Police Officer Christopher Mayer, or Christopher Meyer, whatever his name is, screaming threats and profanity toward a family in a van. Driving Ames, his pregnant fiance Alicia Harper, and their two young daughters. You're gonna fucking get shot, the cop yells at one point. I'm gonna put a fucking cap in your fucking head. Wow. As previously reported, Ames, Harper, and their daughters, Island, and four years old and one years old London, was held at gunpoint after their four-year-old Island walked out of the dollar store with a Barbie-like doll. On me notes to the parents. Wow, this is really sad. Video of the account was recently released and it shows officers cursing at both parents while ordering the family to put their hands up and get out of their vehicle. As she's holding her children, Harper tells the officer she can't open the door because it won't, won't work properly. The trigger race shoulder then threatens the shooter. Now, this is what we've got going on in our own community, our own community in our own America, United States of America. This all happens is that since Trump's got elected. And you got to uh, understand that the people who elected Trump were majority white. No disrespect towards white folks, but a lot of y'all voted for Trump. If you go in my area in Florida, a lot of people are Trump supporters, and they'll put Trump everywhere, Confederate flags everywhere. This is what we normally see. We got to wake up and take action. It's 2019. It's time for us to get woke. Like I'm saying, we can't just wait on folks like Jay-Z, who's got billions of dollars to help us. We got to start doing for our own, put money, keep our dollar in our own community, and boycott these communities that are disrespecting us. I listen to a lot, a lot of YouTubers say, and I decided that I want to come back on YouTube and make videos like this. Because it's really sad and unfortunate that these things are happening. Again, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get back to you in the next video.